I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today we're out at Ken Nagel's farm and we've got a fantastic Mercury for you. Ken, what did you bring today? Well, we brought a 56 Mercury Montclair convertible and the color scheme is uh, Heather Green over Verona Green. And uh, again, it's got all the power accessories to it and uh, let's take a look at it. Let's just do that. Okay. So there's got the sun on it. <laughs> well, you can see this one is just striking. Yeah. Coming down the street, well, you're not going to miss that. I'm going to try to position it so you can get there and a little bit of sun off of it just so you can enjoy the front end. And this one is the top of the line. They had a couple of versions. We'll find that out in the trunk and treats. But you have the big Mercury there. This jet-like hood ornament, which actually has some air in it, as you can see through it. These interesting bumper, almost like a push rod something to push you across and these simple headlight fin type looking in the fog lights just amazing so Ken come on along with me why did you have to have one of these well I think when you look at it it kind of tells the story okay fair <laughs> enough uh, I, I like the design again and I kind of buy cars that I like uh, a lot of times people, when I do tours for, for uh, people or groups, they, why did you, what do you, what car do you like best? I like them all because I relate to them. And uh, this is one of those cars, again, from the mid-50s. And the colors on these cars were just phenomenal, you know. Yeah. And the restoration is Top great. notch. Just great. Top notch. The Montclair is the high end. You can see some of these features. You have the spotlight, spotlight yeah, with the... With yeah. the mirror even the design of that mirror mm -hmm. you've got the curvature on the windscreen there the windshield this nice crest in the center of that wheel another crest i thought was a nice touch right here then as you come down the side, just kind of take in the side of this car for a moment. A subtle two-tone, not a heavy two-tone. It's not like a white over a black, not like a tuxedo. But a couple different versions, kind of interesting how the chrome pieces separate there over the tire, the cloth top. On this one, something that Fords used to do back then, this little keyhole cover. The uh, taillights, I'll talk about them in a second. But they have this split right down the center, making it very distinct. And as you can see, that chrome piece kind of hangs over that piece there. No missing the mercury in the back. I'm going to show these bumpers because you can see the points to this bumper system. And this is actually the exhaust system. The exhaust system right. Mm -hmm. right there. Exhaust extension, yeah. And I thought this was interesting how you open that up and there's your keyhole. Mercury, let me take one step back and let you just take in the rear end of this car. Oh, that looks good out of your windshield. Let's do some trunk and treats. So the trunk of the Mercury, we have some treats for you. So not only the perfect matching color tire, and the big trunk with the jack instructions. But something I liked, and you can see the pattern 
a little closer on there. But take a look at the colors and the upholstery. So I'm going to pull this up. We've got three new Mercuries. That you can see here. And this shows all the 56 Mercury color and trim combination chart. And look at how this book lays out. And the convertible. It's kind of funny because the book goes sideways and forwards. So here's your choices, your Montclair, your Mercury, your Custom. Talks about the variety. Here's your body colors. It gives you a code. And your solids. Your two tones, your flow tones. Here's where it shows you upholstery, and it gives you trim, and trim numbers. You've got some nice pieces in there. Not sure you want to get trim level 666, that's just me though. But it shows you all the different trim and the patterns that you can have. Very nice. The body colors here. It shows you how you can mix and match. Looks like our car looks like a Heath Green. Or maybe this one. No. Maybe Verona Green. I think that's Verona Green. Okay, is this car Verona Green? It looks like it. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Verona Green. Over Heather Green. Over Heather Green. Carousel Red. Grow Green. Wow. That's just a wonderful book there. Your four door. Your Montclair convertible tells you the trim colors. Your four door, your four door, your hard top, your four door. A few more. You gotta do this like this. We've got that's wonderful, and that goes back like that. Now you have the overall 56 book Mercury. Nice photographs. The Montclair, the Montclair Coupe, the Mercury Montclair Convertible, which is what we're featuring here. Looks like it's good for the beach. So I've got this project, honey. Yes, dear. Our colors. The four-door sedan. 
the Mercury Monterey, the station wagon, just some of the great photographs, the coupe. The four-door sedan, the safety engineering, seat belts, tubeless tires, protection against blowouts. The 56 Mercury Custom, always the car you ask the wife to go out for the wedding. So those are one outstanding features at low cost. The Mercury Custom Wagon, showing your seating arrangements, your custom two-door station wagon. Custom four door. Your Mercury Medalist. Your power windows. Kids playing around the gas tank. Not a good idea to play hide and seek in front of the car, but that's how you did it back then. Little Billy driving you nuts with the power button on the side for the seats. And without question, the 225 engine. Big power. 225 horsepower. Not just horsepower, but usable power. It talks about your engines. Your powertrain and chassis. Your body. Your radio, custom design accessories, so just in order of numbers, In your luxury ride. Mercury offers the widest choice of power features. The big move is to the big M, a magnificent value in Ford family cars. And this one is much like that one. So I'll not go through all of that, but you can see it has some of the same pictures. So there's our trunk and treats. And we're back. Let's take a look at the interior. Thanks, Ken. Mm -hmm. Large door. I want to just share that opening with you as I stand back 
because it's super easy to get into this car very comfortable you've got the big M for the Mercury there an adjustable seat look at the piping it has almost kind of a chrome feel to it and the seats matching the color of this car this car looks like kind of a Florida cruiser notice there's a light in there as you can see the back seat I thought that was really slick I want to share with you all of the customizations and the interior the nice top your pedals let me let you meditate on that instrumentation for a moment Well, there's no question that you're grabbing this steering wheel. I like how it has the Mercury power steering. And right behind that, you can see this gold band, if you will. And this kind of three-tier, almost like uh, a leveling system. At the bottom, you've got your Mercury emblem. The miles which are a little challenging to see but that's actually listed as about 19 on there and you can see your three tier pod where you have your generator your fuel your oil and your temp if I can get that and then over here you have your temperature there, your tissue box, your town and country, a clock, and for the person, the passenger seat, the Montclair. So this little styling piece of chrome here and of course the tag we have there let's take a look under the hood shall we okay and that light From Loco, right off the bat, you see the Mercury. Now, this right here is something you don't find, but in, only in a Mercury. This is what they call the multi luber. This, in turn, works off of these little hoses here that go down to the j joints in the car that need greasing. Really? And you can grease this from your dashboard of your car. There's a button on the dash inside the car, really? and in turn, you push that, and in turn, forces grease down into those tubes to the spots uh, all the joints that need to be greased. Isn't that interesting? So it's unique to the mercury only. Uh -huh. Unique to the mercury yeah. only. Let me see if I can get you that. multi luber they call it. You read the manual it says you should push that button about every hundred miles. That's a great idea. Yeah. Did you say it? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Well, to my knowledge, it's it's on the 56 Mercury's, I know that for sure. But of course, I don't know what other years. Not on my 54's, I know that. And the water level. Instructions for removing the blower. A brand new car because well it's just restored and it's a brand new car <laughs> so Ken let's fire it up shall we
and listen to that exhaust. Okay, can you step on the brakes for a second? Do me a favor, can you throw it in reverse while you have the brakes on? There's that dual tail light or something. Okay, we'll put it back in uh, neutral. Sounds great, doesn't it? Yep. Let's uh, let's take it for a ride. Okay, let's go. I'm with Ken Nagel, we're in the Mercury Montclair convertible, and uh, boy, easy to get into. Yes, it is. Well, it's a little bigger body car, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, it, it is, a, and it's a nice nice riding car also. Easily, you can tell. Yeah, easily yeah. fits six. Yes, it does. Yes, a little bigger car than the '54, which they said was a thinner car, and it, it was. Yeah. Let you enjoy some of the country ride with us. Like we're just floating along. The green off this car blending in with the green scenery. Let's just let this take your heart rate down a few notches. Do you ever come out just by yourself and drive them? Or do you usually a little, take people? Usually I take people or else I will. A lot of the, I just go out in the, in the car barn, as we call it, and I just uh, uh, walk around and admire them. That's <laughs> what I got there, to be quite honest with you. And, uh, you know, grab a beer and walk around and... Uh, enjoy see, the see beauty and the design. Enjoy the beauty and the design of them all. Exactly right. Exactly right. Like how if you look up, you can kind of see the plane is flying on the front of your car. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Right there. It's flying down the stripes. What a fun car, right? Yes, it is. I mean, it yeah. just makes you smile. Is that the reaction yeah. when you're driving it? Yeah, it, it is. Smile? Yeah, that and, and I think the overall design of the car and the beauty of the car. Uh, it's unusual, the color scheme. And uh, that's what I've like the, in the 56 Mercury's, they had some unique color schemes in those days, uh, especially in the two tones, I thought. So we ended up, we got one. Amazing car, Ken. Always a treat. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumb up if you like this one. Hit the bell so you can see all the cars. Ken, always a treat to see one of your cars in the Ken Nagel collection. Thanks for being on the channel. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.